Hi, um, I wanted to come out into the garden with you to share uh, my sort of Easter reflection. Um, partly thinking about John's Gospel and the way in which Mary Magdalene meets Jesus in the garden and uh, mistakes him for the gardener. Um, because I think in that she shows the disorientation that many of the disciples are feeling. So in the Gospel reading, uh, I'll read in a few moments. It talks about the moment when the women had gone to the tomb and had been told by Jesus that he was going ahead of them to Galilee and to tell the disciples. And it says they went off with um, it's a combination of fear and joy that they feel at the same time. For me, that complexity of feeling, that disorientation, uh, really resonates at the moment. Um, it resonates uh, in the context of coronavirus, um, because uh, all through this Easter time, we've kind of been together as a community, which has been lovely, but we've also not been together as a community at the same time. Um, so there's been this odd mixed sense of, of fellowship and of being apart from each other. Um, equally with the liturgy, as I think I've said before, um, celebrating a service to a camera is quite a strange thing to do, even if I know there are people beyond the camera um, who are listening to what I'm saying and participating in the worship. I think that's all at home with the resurrection, um, which we should find disorientating because it's a moment at which Jesus uh, breaks into our life. Um, the kingdom of God breaks into our lives and confuses us. When we read the gospel accounts of the resurrection, in Luke, um, I think it's Luke, Jesus eats fish with his disciples, but he also walks through walls, walks through doors, which are closed. Um, Jesus opens to us everlasting life, and yet we live with the difficulty and pain and limitedness of this life. Um, so it's interesting comparing the different Gospels and seeing what they say about who this resurrected Christ is and what he's like. Um, because they strain at the bounds of language and at the bounds of story to communicate that. So I'm going to read you now um, the Gospel for this year, um, for the Easter Vigil. It's taken from Matthew chapter 28. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. For fear of him the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. So I think my main message for um, us at this time is... The disorientation that we're feeling is okay. Um, it's part of being God's children. It's part of having one foot in the kingdom of God and one foot here on earth. Um, I think it's okay at this time of coronavirus. It's okay when our worship has changed. Um, it's okay when we're looking at this interim process within the parish, because I think it's all part of the process of following the risen Jesus. The fact is that the risen Jesus shouldn't be here. <laughs> um, when people die, they're meant to stay dead. 
and Jesus' return, as the guards responded to it uh, with fear, will inspire fear as much as inspiration as Jesus shows he's overcome sin and hell and death. So uh, I want to wish you a happy Easter and I want you to um, embrace the disorientation of this time because I think uh, that's actually part of the true meaning of Easter, uh, which brings the joy and sometimes the fear. Um, so Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Happy Easter everyone.